These are all mid-range speed cubes and I'm going to battle them until we find the best one. But before we begin, let me quickly explain the rules. Each battle will be made up of three categories. The cube that wins two of the three categories moves on to the next round. The categories are performance, customization, and value for money. So let's get back to it. Starting with the Moyu WRM 2021 versus the Diane Tangyan version one. Performance. Although I prefer the turning on the Tangyan, I have to say that it's too unstable. So I'm going to have to give it to the WRM. Customization. This is a clear win for the WRM, considering it actually has a tensioning system and a adjustable magnets compared to just a screw and spring on the Diantangian. And although it doesn't matter, I would say that the WRM is also better value for money. So with that landslide victory, the Moyu WRM 2021 moves on to the next round. Next we have the X-Man Tornado and MS Cube MS3 version 1M Enhanced. Performance is going to have to go to the MS3. If it weren't for the terrible corner cutting on the Tornado, it may have won that category. Customization. I think that this is a clear win for the Tornado, considering there are 100 25 different ways that you can customize this cube, including five magnet strengths. This is so much better than the MS3, which doesn't have any available customization for the magnets. Finally, we have the value for money. And personally, I think the X-Man Tornado has so much more to offer. And on top of that, it is cheaper. This means that the X-Man Tornado moves on and will battle the WRM 2021 very soon. Onto the other side now with the Mortri Tianmar X3 versus the RS3M 2020. I'm going to change this one up a little bit and start with the value for money and I think you all know which one wins this category. Despite the Tianmar having loads of amazing features, at a price of just under £10 the RS3M has to win this. Now on to performance and I think the RS3M has great turning, however the corner cutting could be better which is the reason I am going to give this part to the Tianmar. It has fast effortless turning and great corner cutting. And finally we have the customization. Despite the tensioning systems being very similar, the Tianmar simply has more choices. So with a 2-1 win, the Mortri Tianmar X3 moves on to the next round. And finally in the first round we have the GAN 11M Duo versus MGC EVO. I think that the Duo has great turning and a smooth feeling paired with amazing corner cutting which means the Duo wins on performance. Next we have customization. The MGC EVO has a tensioning system and adjustable magnets. However it isn't very easy to use and I think the GAN tensioning system is so much better. So the Duo wins this category. Even though it doesn't have customizable magnets the tensioning system is just amazing. Although it doesn't matter because the Duo has won there is no way that I can give the GAN cube value for money. So that goes to the EVO. So the GAN 11M duo moves on to the next round. In the semi-finals we have the WRM 2021 versus the X-Man Tornado and the Mortri Tianmar X3 versus the GAN 11M duo. So let's start with the WRM versus Tornado. Performance. I'm going to have to say that the WRM has better turning which is once again due to how bad the Tornado's corner cutting is. However I do believe that the WRM has really good turning so it would probably still win even even if the Tornado had good corner cutting. Next we have customization, and this is a clear win for me. The Tornado has so many more options and can also be adjusted so much easier than the WRM, which now ties up these two cubes. And finally we have value for money. This may be controversial because I know how many people like the Tornado, but despite it being cheaper, the performance means that I'm going to have to say that the WRM is better value for money. This means the WRM 2021 moves on to the finals. Moving on to the second semi-final and we have the GAN 11 MG versus Mortri Tianmar. Because I want to boost that audience retention, I'm going to make this a speed round. Performance, Tianmar. Customization, duo. Value for money, Tianmar. And with that speed round out of the way, the Mortri Tianmar X3 moves on to the final. Speaking of which, let's begin the final. With these cubes both being so good, this is going to be close. But first we have performance. I think that the turning on the WRM feels like it takes more effort than the Tianmar. This means that I can do way more solves on the Tianmar compared to the WRM. Apart from that, I would say that the corner cutting is pretty similar and I couldn't pick a winner only on that. But due to the turning, I'm going to have to give the performance to the Tianmar. On to customization now. And whilst the tensioning system is near identical, the WRM wins this category due to the magnets being adjustable. Sadly, the Tianmar doesn't have this. So at one all, we go into value for money. The WRM is slightly cheaper. However, this isn't too big of a decider because I would choose the WRM anyway if they had the same price due to the fact that the WRM has way more choices when it comes to how you want to set up the cube. So that means out of the eight cubes to begin with, the Moyu WRM 2021 is the best. Subscribe.